In this video, I'm going to be talking about glaucoma. So glaucoma is a group of diseases causing damage to the optic nerve. This is due to increase in the ocular pressure on the optic nerve head. I'll briefly explain about the pathophysiology of the increase in intraocular pressure. The level of intraocular pressure actually depends on the balance between the production and the removal of aqueous humor. So this aqueous humor is actively secreted by the ciliary process, secreted into the posterior chamber, and then passes through the pupa into the anterior chamber. This aqueous humor will then leave the eye, mainly via, via the trabecular meshwork, Schlem's canal and the episcleral veins, and then reach the bloodstream. So this pathway is known as the conventional pathway, where this happens in most people. But then there's a small proportion of the aqueous humor, around 4% of it, will drain across the ciliary body into the supracoroidal space and is absorbed into the venous circulation. So this is a special pathway, we call it as uveal scleral pathway. This is the classification of glaucoma. We can classify it into primary or secondary glaucoma and also congenital glaucoma, which is starting since birth. So primary glaucoma includes the chronic open angle glaucoma and the acute and chronic closed angle glaucoma. So this presentation I'll mainly explain about these two highlighted in red. For secondary glaucoma, the few causes that might cause glaucoma are trauma to the eye, ocular surgery, infection uh, like uveitis, Increase in episcleral venous pressure can cause glaucoma as well, and some might be induced by prolonged usage of steroids. So to differentiate open angle versus closed angle glaucoma, this picture shows open and closed angle glaucoma. So in open angle glaucoma, the obstruction is due to some structural changes in the trabecular meshwork. Whereas for closed angle glaucoma, the peripheral iris, we can see over here this bluish thing, the iris blocks the trabecular meshwork. So um, any blockage in this area will cause the increase in intraocular pressure because the aqueous humor is unable to flow out into the venous system. So this is how the differentiate between open and closed angle. So I'll be first talking about chronic open angle glaucoma. So open angle is when there is uh, structural changes in the trabecular meshwork. Okay, so history, usually it is slow rise in pressure and usually there is no symptom. Most patients are diagnosed when um, they go for eye checkup and then the optometrist detect the signs of glaucoma. So what are the signs of glaucoma? Um, for example, white eye and clear cornea, raise in intraocular pressure, visual field defect, and also cup optic disc. So there is a picture over here showing the healthy optic nerve and the optic nerve in glaucoma, where there is cup optic disc. So actually everyone has an optic disc cup. It is a completely normal part of the structure of your eye, and it's usually quite small in if compared to the rest of the optic disc. So we can see this second picture here, the cup is uh, very big in relation to the whole optic disc. So this optic disc cupping refers to the cup appearing to become larger over time and it is often due to the fibers in the optic nerve dying due to ischemia. For treatment of open angle glaucoma, for medical treatment, the prostaglandin analogs are becoming the first-line treatment. And other medications include topical beta blockers and pilocarpine. So usually we give medical treatment first. And if the intraocular pressure remains high, um, there are a few choices. The first choice is to add an additional medical treatment. For example, combining two different drugs. Or other choices of treatment includes laser treatment where there is laser trabeculoplasty, 
And this procedure involves placing a series of laser burns in the trabecular meshwork to improve the aqueous outflow. And another option is surgery, which is trabeculectomy. So this is a surgical drainage procedure to decrease the intraocular pressure. So that's for open angle glaucoma. If closed angle glaucoma, this condition occurs in small eyes which have shallow anterior chambers. And sometimes in response to pupil dilation, when the peripheral iris may be bunched up in the angle, this increases the resistance and uh, increases the pressure gradient. So this will bow the iris forward and then close the angle. That's why aqueous humor can no longer drain through the trabecular meshwork and this will indirectly uh, increases the ocular pressure usually very fast. So this is usually a medical emergency. For history of closed angle glaucoma, there is an abrupt increase in pressure. The patient might complain of photophobia, which is uh, scared of light and usually very painful. There is watering of eye and loss of vision. And a very special characteristic about closed angle glaucoma is that the patient may complain that they see colorful halos around the bright lights, where we can see over this picture here. And they may have nausea and also abdominal pain as well. For physical examination, there will be reduced visual acuity, red eyes, cloudy cornea, and the pupil will be oval, fixed, and remember, there will be mid-dilated pupil in glaucoma. For treatment, we can give intravenous acetazolamide for this closed angle glaucoma since it's a medical emergency. And after that, we can switch to oral acetazolamide together with topical pilocarpine and beta blockers. So this pilocarpine will constrict the pupil and draws the peripheral iris out of the angle. Whereas the acetazolamide and beta blocker will reduce the aqueous secretion. So therefore, these few drugs can often lower the intraocular pressure. And another uh, definitive treatment, another treatment is by doing iridotomy or iridectomy, where a small hole is made in the peripheral iris to prevent further attacks. So once the hole is made in the iris, this uh, makes sure that there is an alternative pathway for the aqueous fluid to flow from the posterior chamber to the anterior chamber. So this will bypass the pupil and then reduce the pressure gradient across the iris. So kind of reduce the risk of uh, recurrent glaucoma. So the prognosis of glaucoma, so far there is no known treatment to reverse the damage of glaucoma. And the treatment uh, measures can only slow down the rate of progression to reduce further damage of the eye. So usually vigorous lowering of the intraocular pressure can significantly reduce the rate of progression. And this is a medical emergency if there is late diagnosis and there is already significant visual damage, the eye is likely to become blind even though treatment is given. So not glaucoma is a medical emergency, especially the close angle glaucoma. So that's all for my video. Thank you.